A plane is a geometrical figure which has length and width and goes on forever. We say that a plane has two dimensions or is two-dimensional. An example of a plane is a drawing on a piece of paper or the picture on the computer screen you are looking at right now. Choose the correct word for the pictures. Well done! We will now learn about polygons. A polygon is a closed two-dimensional shape with straight sides. These are not polygons because they are not closed and do not have straight sides or their sides intersect. The straight line segments that make up the polygon are also called edges and the corners are called vertices. Complete the table for the number of vertices and the number of edges. Superb! We get irregular and regular polygons. Irregular polygons are polygons where the edges are not equal in length. A regular polygon is a special polygon because all the edges are equal in length. We can show which line segments are equal in length by using short marks on the edges. Click on the pairs of lines that are equal in length. Very good. The angles inside a polygon are called interior angles. In a regular polygon, the interior angles are the same size. A polygon has the same number of interior angles as there are sides. Polygons are labeled using the points of their vertices. For example, this is the polygon ABCDE. And now for some Greek because polygons are named according to the number of sides using Greek prefixes. Tri means three, so a three-sided polygon is called a triangle. A quad bike has four wheels. A quadrilateral is therefore a polygon with four sides. A pentagon is a polygon with five sides. Penta means five. The famous building, the Pentagon in the United States of America, was designed in the shape of this polygon. Can you match these polygons to their correct names? Excellent. An octagon is easy to recognize if you remember that an octopus has eight legs. Nona means nine, so a nine-sided polygon is called a nonagon. A decade is a period of ten years. Can you guess what the name of a ten-sided polygon is? Very good. A dodecagon is a twelve-sided polygon. Complete the table. Superb! Place the triangle on top of the quadrilateral. What type of polygon forms? Well done! A triangle is a polygon with three sides or edges. A triangle also has three vertices and three angles. Triangles can be classified either according to the lengths of their edges or the size of their interior angles. An acute angled triangle is a triangle where all three interior angles are acute angles. A right-angled triangle is a triangle where one of the interior angles is a right angle 
or 90 degrees. An obtuse angled triangle is a triangle where one of the interior angles is an obtuse angle. Choose the correct type of triangle. Very good. One special type of triangle is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle is a triangle where two sides are the same length. Remember, we use short lines on the edges to show which lines are equal in length. The angles opposite these equal sides are equal in size. Click on the two angles that are equal in size. Excellent. An equilateral triangle is another special triangle. An equilateral triangle has all three sides equal in length. In an equilateral triangle, all the interior angles are equal to each other and are exactly 60 degrees. Triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. What is the size of angle ACB? Superb! A scalene triangle is a triangle where all three sides are different in length and all three angles are different in size. Click on the two obtuse triangles. Very good. Which of the two triangles selected is an isosceles triangle and which is a scalene triangle? Excellent. Click on the two right-angled triangles. Very good. Classify the two right-angled triangles according to the lengths of their sides. Superb! The remaining three triangles are all acute-angled triangles. Choose the correct descriptions according to the length of their sides. Of course, from this you can see that triangles can have a two-name description. Choose which statement is incorrect. Well done! A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles. Here are the different types of quadrilaterals we will look at. The square, the rectangle, the parallelogram, the rhombus, the kite and the trapezium. A square is a regular quadrilateral with four equal sides and four equal angles, which are exactly 90 degrees. A diagonal is a line segment drawn inside the polygon from one corner to another. A square has two diagonals of equal length that intersect each other at right angles. The diagonals of a square also bisect each other and the opposite angles. To bisect means to cut or divide into two equal pieces. Quadrilateral MNOP is a square. Fill in the lengths of the missing sides and sizes of the missing angles. Well done! A rectangle is a quadrilateral where the opposite sides are equal in length and all angles are equal and are exactly 90 degrees. In a rectangle, the opposite sides are also parallel to each other. The diagonals of a rectangle are equal in length and bisect each other. The quadrilateral STUV is a rectangle. Which statements are correct?
Very good. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral where the opposite sides are parallel to each other and are equal in length. In a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal in size. The diagonals bisect each other. Choose the type of quadrilateral. Excellent. A rhombus is a quadrilateral where all the sides are equal in length and the opposite pairs of sides are parallel to each other. In a rhombus, the opposite angles are equal and the diagonals intersect at right angles. The diagonals of a rhombus also bisect each other and the opposite angles. The quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus. Calculate the values of X, Y and ED. Excellent. A kite is a quadrilateral with one pair of adjacent sides equal in length and the other pair equal as well. Adjacent sides are sides that share a common vertex. A kite also has only one pair of opposite angles that are equal in size. The longer diagonal of a kite bisects the other pair of opposite angles. The diagonals of a kite intersect at right angles and only the shorter diagonal is bisected. The quadrilateral ABCD is a kite. Calculate the values of X and Y. Excellent. A trapezium is a quadrilateral with one pair of opposite sides parallel to each other. An isosceles trapezium is a trapezium where the non-parallel sides are equal in length. Choose from the following list of words to complete the statements. Superb. Let's summarize the different types of quadrilaterals. If there are no pairs of opposite sides parallel, it is called a kite. A quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite sides parallel to each other is called a trapezium. All quadrilaterals can be classified as parallelograms if they have two pairs of opposite sides parallel to each other. If all four sides are equal, then the parallelogram can further be classified as a rhombus. A parallelogram that has opposite sides equal in length and interior angles of 90 degrees is called a rectangle. Finally, we have the square which is either a rhombus with interior angles of 90 degrees, or we can say that it's a type of rectangle with all four sides equal in length. Choose the statement that is incorrect. Excellent.